This video is a follow on from the previous one in the playlist. Here we're going to look at how we can add more than one frame to a window. This is the program we were looking at in the last video and you can see that we're creating an instance of a window, we're creating an instance of a frame, we're creating three labels, three entry widgets and a button. And if we look at the memory, we can see that we have the following. This is the frame that was created. These are the three labels. These are the three entry widgets. And this is the button. Now, all of these widgets are associated with this frame. Because if you look here, you can see that we are passing in the frame which was defined on this line. Now, these lines of code have been responsible for placing the widgets in the memory, as you can see here. Now, these lines of code are now responsible for placing the various widgets within the frame. And if we have a look at what the frame will look like when these lines of code are executed, they will be as you see here. These three lines place the labels here. These three lines place the entry widgets here. And this place the button in this position. And of course, we now have this, which is going to position the entire frame in the window, as you can see here. Now, if you were unclear on any of the explanation there, I strongly recommend that you go back and watch the previous video in the playlist, as that covered what I've just described in more detail. In this video, I'm going to show how we can now produce this frame and add the frame to this position within this window. This is just half of the program that will perform the task that I've just described. And you can see here that I've created a frame and that's the frame I created in the previous video. These three lines of code created the three labels and these three created the entry widgets and this line created the appropriate button. What I've now done, I've added the following lines. This here, for example, this is creating another frame and I'm calling that frame frame underscore address. And if you have a look, it is associated with this window that was created on this line. So here, I've now got two frames, both associated with this window. If I now come on to this segment of code, you can see there's three labels being created. And they differ from the three labels created here in two ways. Firstly, look at the text. You can see this one is first line, this one is town, and this one is county. But this is the important bit. Have a look here. You can see that this is frame address. So this label is associated with this frame. This label is also associated with this frame. And this label, because of this, is also associated with this frame. So we can see that these three labels are associated with this frame. And these three labels are associated with this frame. Now down here, what you can see, I've created three more entry widgets. And if you have a look here, you can see all are associated with the frame that was created here. Coming down to this line of code, you can see that I'm creating another button and that button is associated with this frame, which was declared and created on this line. When this segment of code executes, the computer memory is going to be holding all of the instances that have been created, all of the widgets that have been created. Now these widgets at the moment are just in the computer's memory. Let's now consider the rest of the computer program, which I'm showing here to the side. And if you have a look, what we're dealing with here are lots of messages that are invoking the grid method. If you look at these three, you can see they're all invoking the grid method and they're going to be responsible for placing the labels in the appropriate position within this frame. These three lines, well, they're going to be responsible for placing the labels on this frame. These three will be responsible for placing the entry widgets onto this frame. These three will be responsible for placing the entry widgets onto this frame. This will be responsible for placing the button onto this frame. And this will be responsible for placing the button onto this frame. So if we have a look at the two frames as they now will appear, they'll look like this. That would be the first frame. That will be this frame here. And this one, well, that's what 
this frame will look like. Now, of course, we're not in a position to see these frames as I'm showing them here, because what we now need to do is to put these frames on the window. And if you look here, what I'm doing, I'm going to frame underscore name, which is this one, and I'm using the grid method to put this in row zero, column zero of this window. Why this window? Because if you look at this line, that's what we've passed in. We've passed in my window. So this knows it's going to end up on that window. Let's have a look at this line. What is it doing? Well, it's going to frame underscore address, which is this one. And it's going to place this in row zero, column one of this window why because if you look here when we declared and created the frame we're passing in my window so this is going to end up on the same window as this one but in a different position so if we now have a look at what the program will look like when it executes it'll look like this and we can see that this frame has been placed in this position which is row zero column zero and this frame has been placed in this position which is row zero column one. So we now know how to build up frames individually and then how to put the frames into positions within the window. Now this is the same program as we've just been discussing. What I'm going to do now however, I'm going to highlight these two lines of code and I'm going to replace them with these two lines here. And let's have a look at the difference. You can see if we look at this line, it's identical to this one. This line is different to this one because if you look here, this is row equals one, whereas here it was row equals zero, and this is column equal to zero, whereas here it's column equal to one. So let's replace these two lines with the following segment of code. So now you can see the alteration has taken place here, and that alteration is what we've shown up here. Now when we run this program, what we're going to see is this. And you can see that this frame has been put here in row zero, column zero. And this frame has been placed here, which is row one, column zero. Here is the original program again. And what I'm now going to do, I'm going to change those two lines, but I'm going to change them as shown here. And you can see on this line, I'm changing them to row one, column one. So let's show that change taking place, as you can see. Here. Consequently, when we now run this program with this change, what we're going to see is this. And you can see that this frame was placed in this position because here we've got row zero, column zero. And this frame is placed in this position because we can see for the grid method, we've got it set to row one, column one. Let's summarize what we've just done. If we have a look at these two program statements, you can see that they are both dealing with the frames. This frame and this frame are both associated with the same window. And you can see in both cases, we're using the grid method. And this one here, this message is going to put the frame in row zero, column zero. And this message is going to put the frame in row zero, column one. So what we're going to see is this where this frame is placed here because that's row zero column zero this frame is placed here because that's row zero column one if we now were to change these two program statements as illustrated here and the change has taken place here where we now have row one and column zero what we'll see is this where this frame has been placed here because that's row zero, column zero, and this frame has been placed here because that's in row one, column zero. If we further amend the program using these two program statements, we can see that they both messages and this one is going to place this frame in the same position as the previous two programs in row zero, column zero, whereas this one is going to place this frame in row one, column one. And what we will see is this. That frame is this frame positioned here and this is this frame positioned here, i.e. row one, column one. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.